Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and uh, a lot has changed. <laughs> so I just really wanted to put up this quick video just to do a check-in on my curly hair journey. I was just going to throw this before a weekly wow, but I really do want to keep track of my hair journey, especially since I just did a big chop. So I just wanted to make this its regular own video there will be a weekly wow also posted tomorrow so not to worry that's always coming but i chopped most of my hair off <laughs> so i'll throw in a clip of the last video i pre-filmed before i got my hair cut just so that you could see the difference in the length because my hair has been in a little bit of a transition and I wasn't 100% sure if this was okay to use. Uh, I am following the curly girl method and I was having issues figuring out whether or not I could actually use this. This is from Living Proof and this is the Perfect Hair Day 5-in-1 Styling Treatment. I think because it's not like a shampoo or a conditioner, it should be okay for me to use in my hair. But I'm actually getting a haircut later today. I'm getting a curly haircut. It's called a Rizo cut. And that's why my hair is looking a little bit nuts because uh, you're not supposed to use any products or anything in your hair when you're going to get it cut in its natural state. So I really didn't want to risk using this before my haircut. So I'm gonna wait till after I get my haircut, learn how to kind of style it. I'm gonna chop off a decent amount. I kind of want to go to like collarbone length. So we're looking at about that much hair. I'm trying to get like the rest of this blonde damaged out and it's grown out to the point where I think I can cut it all off if I go collarbone length. So, for so like I said in the clip, I chopped off it ended up being a good six inches curly. <laughs> so if I had stretched the hair out, it probably was like eight inches at least that I ended up cutting off. And I'm happy that I did it. Like I just, oh, I feel so much lighter. And I was able to get off all of the, the damaged hair that was left from the last time I tried bleaching my hair. So all the blonde is gone and I really like it. So this is actually me styling it for the first time. I washed it yesterday and did my normal styling routine. And this is how it turned out. I'll throw a picture right here of what my hair looked like when I left the salon. Of course, they always do a better job of styling. I went to the Utopia Salon here in New Jersey. And you know what? This might sound a bit naive. I didn't really know how well known that salon was for curly haircuts until like recently when uh, Miss Bianca Renee, Bianca Renee Today, actually talked about it in her recent Finding Great Salons in Your Area video. I knew it was fairly well known in our area, like I knew a lot of women came from the city, from New York, into Jersey just to go to that salon. It was actually recommended to me by my aunt who had heard really great things about it and that's where I got my first diva cut and so I went back there for this cut. So this technically wasn't a diva cut, this was a Rizzo cut. And as far as I'm aware, the difference is that a Rizzo cut really focuses on volume and that's what I wanted. I really wanted more volume up here because I was so sick of like the top being so flat and my with how fast my hair grows out that happens pretty quickly so I got a cut pretty short I've got some nice layers in here and I'm really enjoying it so the date of this big chop was January 18th 2019 starting off the big chop challenge that Ms. Bianca Renee today started out this year and I can't wait to see how my hair is gonna do this year because I finally chopped off all my damaged hair. So this is just pure, well taken care of hair. <laughs> and I love the way that it's like bounced back and I love the color. If anything, I might go a little bit darker because I do like my hair jet black. I've seen what happens when I try to dye my hair. It's not that great. And I think I just look really nice dark brown slash black hair. So yeah, so that's that check-in. Um, the rest of the videos for this week, uh, aside from the weekly wow, were pre-filmed before my haircut. So you're gonna see my, my longer, probably messed up hair in those videos. But the video starting next week will be my normal hair. Oh, and also not to mention, I rearranged my entire room. This is actually the setup I used to have back when I first started my channel and I didn't have great lighting. So I rearranged everything. My bed's over here. I got the bookshelves. I've got like my dresser and everything over here because I got brand new umbrella lights and I needed room to put them up. So this is actually filming. It is pitch black outside and I actually got the lighting to look decent. 
I'm not sure it's 100% perfect, but I will be working on it and I'm so happy that I was able to do that to just kind of like regulate the lighting in my videos a lot better than what I was used to because I was kind of throwing together lamps here and there and I had some videos where the lighting looked good and some videos where the lighting looked blah. So I was hoping with like this actual lighting setup, I can kind of standardize the videos. So those are all the updates, hair, lighting, room. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope if you, I don't know what this video was, if you liked it, like it. <laughs> and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.